Hi y'all, it's Deidre here with Deidre's Daydreamers coming at you with a new video. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, share this video with family and friends as I'm trying to grow my channel. Today, we are going to be chatting about a breakthrough that I had this week. I had a tremendous brain shift this week and I would love to share and tell you about it. And I would like to tell you this straight out of the gate. If you want changes in your life, you have to take action to get the changes and the results that you want, no matter what it is, whether it's a financial goal, a physical goal, um, a health goal, whatever your goal is. Um... I just really feel like it's sad that a lot of people don't get the results because they do not take action and it's not that the re result that they want is um like people just find that they feel like the result is going to be hard to obtain and I found that when my mind is right, the actual goal itself is sometimes not as hard as what my mind made it out to be. So, with that being said, I would like to encourage you to take action in your life. So, that brings me to my brain shift. I've been on... Uh, a year and a half journey now of talking with life coaches putting myself out there networking um and i just really have changed my life for the better um and i've changed so dramatically that on the inside like I need to hate myself be beat myself up um being a victim and um what's so bad about it is when I think back about how I was and the state that I was in I find it really sad and um I kind of feel like why didn't I do this sooner although I feel like the stars aligned for me and I was uh, accepting of the help that I got and I feel like the help that I've got is building on one another so I started out like coaching with Joe and then I talked and did several other programs in between that. I did, um, I've done Mandy's, um, life coaching. I've done Miss Diana Boatsman life coaching. And now I am doing Judy Lynam's, um, life coaching so find you a life coach honey they they are everywhere find you a life coach find one that you resonate with and um you can like a lot of them have like free group or free sessions where you can like try them on so to speak so to see how y'all work together and stuff like that so I really recommend that so I wrote a little piece and so me and Matthew were talking and he was like I just had we were talking about the dark side of us as a person and so this is what I wrote the depression, the victimization, the suicidal tendencies, the sorrow, the literal grief, the pain both physically and mentally propel me and that is my fuel. 
I can feel all the sorrow this very moment. It feels sad. It feels heavy. It feels sickening. It feels like my heart's in my stomach. It feels nauseating. I feel anger and enraged by the um this feeling because people have seen me as an underdog and counted me down and out. People have stepped on me for their gain. People have gossiped about me, talked bad down and down about me in front of me. And I was so weak and naive, I let them do it without consequence. I had no self-respect, much less than others taking me seriously. I need to show others I respect myself in dress and demeanor. I will still need to work on this aspect of myself, not to see myself as weak and naive and overpowered, but empowered and in control and strong. So, I was sharing, excuse me, I was sharing that um, feeling that I have, and your feeling may be different. Like, you may feel a different kind of way about um, your dark side or that negative side of yourself. And it helps you to be more well-rounded um, to be aware of your negative side, your negative self, your, <coughs> excuse me. So, sit with yourself, sit with your feeling, and think about what you would like to do. So, I would like to focus on something that I said, if I can get the page to turn, and it was, I need to show others that I respect myself in dress and demeanor. So, I have been a victim for way too long. And I decided to take self-accountability and say no more. And to treat myself like I respect myself. So that in turn, other people will respect me too. So... If you want somebody to treat you a certain kind of way, you first got to treat yourself that way and have some respect for yourself. Have a, uh, like, have respect for yourself and treat yourself like you want to be treated no matter what the deal is. So, I would like to encourage you to sit with yourself this week and think about yourself and think about where you're at and where you come from and where do you want to go. Matthew's been asking me, what do you want? And I have, through a lot of things out there, um, in the last week or so as far as what I want out of life, what I want in the next five years. And I have big goals, y'all. I have big dreams. I'm going to go big or go home. So, I will be sharing, like, my goals for 2023. So, look for that. I'm probably going to do another vision board, even though I just did one, like, several months ago. Um, and I've been using that one because my 2022 goals, I actually achieved a lot of them, um, earlier in the year this year. And then I caught back up in the end of the year, the last few, like, six to eight weeks, uh, doing my weight loss. So, I have accomplished a lot this year. I'm very happy with the results that I'm getting and that I'm seeing in myself. And so, look out for a new vision board. I have picked out my words of the year. I have two words of the year this year. 
um i will definitely be sharing and i have some youtube news so stay tuned for that have a good day dream big deejers daily dreamers dream big bye bye